Hi guys, welcome back to That Thing Guy, and today we're going to do a review of The Wrong Turn 2021 Reboot. So before we start this review, I'm going to say spoilers, like not like major, like 100% like spoilers, like oh this and this and this, but there are some spoilers, so I don't recommend you watch this video. So straight off the bat, it is a very good movie, like a very good movie. Now I, I, I've seen a... Uh, the original one, love the original one, I think it's very, very good. It's one of those kind of things where it's just this generic early 2000s tits and gore kind of thing. It's, it's a slasher film, it's just, it's just a, gore fight, a gore fest of a film with, you know, the, the bad guys being these mutant cannibal hillbilly creatures from the forest who prey upon anyone who enters, you know, the forest and I think it's, you know, Virginia, which is the same setting for this new one. And even the second one, the second one is dumber and more cheesier and comedic at times. Uh, very cheap kind of directed DVD kind of feel to it. It was a directed DVD film. Um, and it was still good. The third one, shy. The fourth one, fell asleep during it. The fifth one and the sixth one, I've not seen them, but I've been told they are, gen they are genuinely horrific movies. Like they're pretty much like soft porn movies with some horror aspects and kills to it. But this new one brings back the writer of the original one, Alan McElroy, who also wrote the Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, one of the more definitive of the, you know, the Halloween sequels back in the original timeline. But yeah, so this one's directed, the other one, this one, like I said, is, you know, Alan McElroy's back in it. Uh, it's directed by Michael P. Nelson, uh, Mike P. Nelson, sorry. I've not heard of this guy before this film. Because um, the thing is, though, Wrong Turn kind of came, kind of came out of nowhere. It just like appeared out of nowhere. The trailer looked pretty badass. Uh, we then found out that it's a whole, you know, 180 in itself, completely different from the original one. There's no more mutant cannibal hillbilly uh, creatures. It's now a cult. So when you watch it, it does have that kind of cult atmosphere about it. It's very like it's a movie made by A24, like Midsommar, The Heritage, or not Heritage, uh, Hereditary, sorry, uh, The Witch. But it is a very good film. But it's funny though, because you kind of look at it as, it's a good film in its own two feet that should have just been called, it should have just been released as, you know, from the writers of The Original Wrong Turn. Uh, and they should have just called it, I mean, the original title was Wrong Turn, The Foundation. I think they should have just stuck to calling it, calling it The Foundation or like The Trail, because the, the group of friends in this film go and try and, you know, discover an Apache trail somewhere in uh, Virginia and they stumble, stumble, upon, stumble upon The Foundation. Uh, these set of villagers, who, these, this town of villagers who during the Civil War in the 19th century took refuge in a forest and just built their own sanctuary, their own foundation. Um, and it is pretty good because you are kind of looking at them and you are looking at this kind of cult kind of atmosphere. I mean, it's an eerie film. Uh, the gore scene, the, like the death scenes are like, oh, they are gory. Even the first one, uh, one of the, so there's a, there's a gay couple, two gay guys, and one half of them gets his face bashed to a pulp like oh with this big tree that just rolls down a hill like you're just like the hell's that noise and because they are in the middle of nowhere they are using the kind of Blair Witch kind of thing where you hear noises but you don't actually know what it is and all of a sudden bang something happens you're just like oh shit this film is very beautiful it's beautifully shot it's cinematic it's, it's, it's a fantastic film now don't get me wrong it, it, it's a it's a positive so they have taken that franchise and totally you know 360 turn and just changed it completely for a new generation. Uh, but some fans do love it for the fact that it's changed, it's bolder and it's different, but some hate it, but you're just like, wait, whoa. And when I was watching it with Kirsty uh, halfway through, I was like, I don't know if I like this or not, I'm not sure. But then you get the reveal of the, you know, the call and you're like, all right, okay. All these traps have been uh, set up the townsfolk are just like, yeah, so if you're going up the Apache Trail, stay on the trail, don't go off the trail. They're going to go off the trail. So they go off the trail and one by one they get caught up in the traps. But something happens halfway through the film. So like one of the one of the guys thinks his girlfriend's been kidnapped and killed by these people of the forest. So he kills one of their people, you know, dressed up like that. One of their people's dressed up in like a big 
bare skin, a bit cloth kind of thing, skull mass, etc. So you're just like, oh shit, they've actually managed to get one of their people, they've actually managed to kill one of the 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 hunt the killers. You're just like, all right, damn, that's quite good actually. Because and there is no one you had three finger and the other freaks. And they were they were never gonna get killed <laughs> like that. But this these ones got killed like that because they're just normal people, everyday people that you find out later on. So they get their head, so head bashed into a pulp, and the the main girl uh, Jennifer has morals, and she's just like, why would you do that? Why would you kill? Because at that point, the guy who bashed the brains in of the one of the the help the, the the forest people, his girlfriend comes running out, and she's just like, I went to the toilet. Where, where are you? So obviously he's done a oh shit kind of moment of like, I've just killed that guy for no reason. But he doesn't quite kind of like. He's just like, nah, they fucking set traps and they killed. You know, the other guy, the, the brain's face blocked a pulp, but the girl Jennifer, the, the head girl Jennifer is just like, but you've just killed someone, that's that, like, you, where, where are your morals? You've just killed a guy for no reason. He's just like, fuck your morals. Do you see what happened? So the, the remainder of the team, including the guy, Adam, who bashed one of the, 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 the forest guy's brains in, get taken to the foundation, their little home base in the middle of the forest, middle of the wilderness, and they stand trial. And they are found. They are found guilty for invading their space, killing one of their guys. Specifically, Adam killed one of their guys, and he is sentenced to death. And the death has he gets his his face smashed to a pulp. What he done to their people? They do it back. They start to kind of break down that you came into our ground. You killed our people. We set traps for to capture to capture like you know animals, boar, bears, deer. To feed our people our people you know stay away from your people and you're thinking you start to think oh shit so the bad guys are actually not bad guys they're actually good guys and he's even when it gets to the end of the film you still don't actually fully get if they actually are bad guys or if they just took it upon himself and thought fuck you we're going to just go massacre your ass because you've invaded our land killed our people we're going to go kill your people now so that kind of does set up a sequel but then it could also just leave it as just, that's it, the end, done deal, one-off movie, cool. So, it, I mean, it is a mental film. Like, you do really think, you do really feel sorry for the, the villagers of the foundation. Um, but the main girl, Jennifer, and her boyfriend, Darius, they are just like, right, she, she bargains with them and says, listen, I can give you my body and I can produce children because, you know, I'm... I'm cancer free. My family's all healthy. So the big guy, the main, the main guy, we'll call him Yogi Bear. They've all got names like Will Bore, etc. Will Bear. So I'll just call him Yogi Bear. So Yogi Bear is just like, and don't do me for copyright here. So Yogi Bear is just like, you're on. I'll take you on. I'll make you my wife, etc. Fair enough. Darius, who works for a non-profitable uh, company in Wall Street basically give back to society he's not all for you know you need to take money to make this so he just basically is that he's a like the foundation their morals are just you know they stick they keep themselves to themselves so they have to live a happy free life and darius likes that so darius is just like right on i'll you know run on I'll, I'll join your group and stuff like that i'll help you build houses and stuff so we then cut to Jennifer's dad, Matthew Modine, who's hunting, you know, who's trying to find her daughter, comes to the village, the, the wee town in Virginia, the, the hillbillies are just like, yeah, they went into that forest, they're dead. And he's just like, why? He says, because you don't want to go up there, the, you know, and they kind of briefly tell him about, the, you know, the foundation, but they say there's a, there's a group of, you know, mountain men who are forest, people of the forest who just kill on sight. So then they've got a bad perception of the, the, the townspeople, the villagers of the foundation. So it, it's just, that's kind of unraveling. So Matthew Modine is like, not nah, bullshit. So he gets the aid of one of the local hunters. The guy's like, give me five grand and I'll help you. So they go up there and the hunter and his pal gets killed straight away. You think, oh my God. So Matthew Modine's just like, so he's got that kind of perception of these guys are bad guys. So to cut it all to the end, uh, Jennifer and her dad break free because Darius is just like, go on now. I'm going to stay with the villagers. Uh, they, they love me. I love them. I'm at one. I'm at peace with myself. And that's I'll, I'll help civilization. And you're like, okay, back to civilization. Big Yogi Bear's just like, I'm not happy. You, you've killed more of my people for what reason? You know, we could have lived in peace and tranquility. Fair enough. So then big yogi bear and the little girl who's like the kind of like the heart of the foundation who takes to jennifer and jennifer takes to her the little ruthie she and big yogi bear 
and then go to Jennifer's uh, dad and stepmom's house with stepbrothers and etc. And you think, oh no, man, here we go. And it's like you know we're we're the new neighbors, but also offend your dad. And the mum's like, oh okay. So the mum and the, the two brothers are like, we'll go to the other room so you can talk to Jennifer, etc. Because Jennifer knows who who he is, but he's pretending that he doesn't know who she's pretending that she knows who he is through her dad, etc. And she's like, listen, if you let my family survive, I'll go back to you know the foundation with you. So he's just like, all right, right on. So they go out, camper vans full of the, the foundation people. They drive away. That's it. The end. Credits roll. And you think, well, that was easy. Done deal. Because it turns out that she's bearing his child unknown to like her family. So just like, well, it makes sense. He's coming back for his baby. You know, baby daddy. He's trying to do it right. Fair enough. So the camper van is driving away. End credits. But all of a sudden, the camper van just starts to, you know, do like smash crashes into the, another car on the road. And all of a sudden, Jennifer jumps out starts killing off the, 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 the foundation and that's it. And you think, wow, holy shit, she's badass. So she's obviously learned some tricks, you know, in her last few weeks of this, you know, survival of survival the fittest. She's like Bear girls, but you know, a girl, female Bear girls. So it just ends with her and Ruthie because she keeps a girl alive, obviously, because it's just a kid. And they basically walk off past the end credits, you know, rolling and that's it. So and like, you're like, oh, damn. So... I mean, I don't think there's many negatives. I mean, I would like if they spent more time with Darius and Jennifer, like, because obviously like 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes into the film, uh, they get captured and taken in by the villagers of the foundation. And then it cuts straight to Matthew Modine's story. And you're kind of looking thinking, there's still like another like hour left. How am I only, how that? So I'd like to, I mean, I'd like to have seen like more of their story, like settling in, et cetera you know, coming to terms with the fact that they're here for the rest of their life, they are part of the foundation now. Um, I don't know, that's just my own preference. And the fact that they called it wrong turn rather than just, you know, marketing it as its own film and that's it. But I really liked it. So I'm going to give it like a solid four out of five. Do I want to see a sequel? I mean, after seeing this film, you can kind of tell why the foundation would become, you know, bad guys and just hunt for sport hunt people for sport uh but you could just leave it like that and just leave it as one film so yeah guys that's my review of wrong turn 2021 uh like i said i really enjoyed it very little negative points uh, in regards to it uh, if you guys have watched the film what did you think of it comment down below tell me what you thought don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys and thanks for watching